Hey guys, it's Keaton, Kane, and Joe with this week's broadcast. This week's newscast will be a little different as we will be focusing on next week's Stuco elections and be presenting the Stuco election videos that the candidates have made for you. Our first candidate is running for Stuco Secretary. My name is Kirsten DeVore and I'm running for the office of Stuco Secretary. There's no doubt that being a part of the student council means undertaking both a large leadership role and a substantial load of responsibilities. Thankfully, I've already gained some experience without even holding a spot on the high school officer team. So I know roughly what to expect and how to use my organization skills to the benefit of both the group and the entire school. I was the Stuka secretary during both years of junior high, as well as my class's secretary through these last three years of high school. Although my responsibilities in those positions were limited, I did my best to keep everything on track and sorted out, which I have no doubt will carry over into my role as student council secretary. In fact, with more planning and events going on, I'll be required and willing to take on a greater role in order to do my part in supporting the team and making true the goals of the student body. On that note, I know the real pressing question for most students is, how are you going to make things better for us? And rightfully so. We spend an incredibly large amount of time at school already, so we need to do everything we can to make it as optimal as possible. It seems as though the primary responsibility of the student council is often overlooked, but the mission should always be, first and foremost, to be a reliable source of communication between the student body and the administration. If the relationship is a positive and ambitious one, then there will be no limits on the amount of constructive change we can enact, whether that be working together to create a more ideal homeroom situation, or potentially altering the way our final days look. With a responsible and motivated student council, we'll be able to make change happen. With that, I would greatly appreciate your vote on Monday, May 8th. Thank you. Our next three candidates are seeking the position of treasurer. Hello, students of Airman High School. My name is Michael Butza, and I'm running for Stuco Treasurer. I feel that I'm well equipped for this position for various reasons. I have been class president for the past two years and was Stuco president in junior high. I am comfortable being in a leadership position, which is why I, would fe I feel I would be a good fit for student council. I can work well with others and will carefully manage and keep track of our student council's finances. If a peer would have a question or request about a stucco matter, they could come talk to me at any time and I would do my best to get them the answer they need. If I am, un if I am unable to answer their question, I will work with them to find someone that can. With my time in high school, I have been involved with football, basketball, and track as well, as, as well as Zora Youth Group, FCA, and FFA. Now we all know our school is a good place to learn, but everyone also knows that it's not perfect. There's always room for improvement. I would be excited to work with my fellow student council members to make positive changes for the student body. While I will take my position seriously, I will keep a balance of work and play and in handling the money, as treasurer, I will demonstrate trustworthiness, reliability, and common sense. Thank you for your time and consideration, and I hope you will vote for me. My name is Nathan Enns, and I am running for Stuco Treasurer. I believe I have many of the skills that are needed in this position, and I'm in an excellent position to represent the student body and student council. I am a part of numerous teams and clubs. I have been a leader with different athletic teams, which has taught me the value of hard work and perseverance. I am also involved in many different intellectual and creative groups, including Scholars Bowl, Band, and Choir. Doing all these activities has also taught me how to stay organized and prioritize work. I am able to get what needs to be done quickly and efficiently, and move on to the next task. When, with this diversity, I could support the president and vice president of Stuco next year immensely. For an example, I can sit down at any table in the cafeteria and be a part of the conversation. This lets me take the thoughts of you, the students, and put them on the table for discussion in Stuco. I also hope to continue with all the events that have taken place this year, including the dodgeball tournament and the winter formal. Overall, I am a good choice of student council position, as I have the position to listen to the students. I ask you for your vote on May 8th. Thank you. Hello, student body of Inman High School. I'm Freddie Evans, and I'll be running for the position of treasurer for Stuco. I'm sorry that I cannot be here to give my speech myself, but I am currently at HCTEA doing my welding class. To tell you a little bit about, a little bit about myself, I, I'm currently a new Eagle Scout, and that is the highest honor you can get in Boy Scouts. 
and being an eagle means that people can trust me and I can help people if they need it. I'm running for treasurer because, as most of you know, I work at Ampride and so I run the register most of the time and you tr trust me with your money and I always make sure to give you back the correct change. Okay, you know what? The real reason is because when I talked to Mr. Fawn and Steel about <clears throat> running for Stuco is because no one else was running for treasurer yet and so I decided to just go for it. Also, I wanted to take another shot at being in Stuco. I've tried for many years before and I've never gotten in it. And this would be my last chance because I'm a junior this year. So my senior year, I would really like a chance to be in Stuco. I hope you all consider voting for me as your Stuco treasurer. Thank you. And our final two candidates will be seeking the position of co-presidents. Hi, I'm Max Harmon, and this is Dakota Parkhurst, and we're running for co-presidents of Student Council for the upcoming school year. Whether it be in our academics, extracurricular involvement, or community service, we have held a deep-seated drive to do all that we can and do it to the best of our ability. Whether it be Dakota's leadership and teamwork on the baseball field, or my leadership and passion in FFA and 4-H, or our shared dedication to Scholars Bowl, Forensics, National Honor Society, or our respective sports teams, we will strive to continue the traditions of our past student councils have begun, but we continue to look towards the future. We realize that innovative ideas take time, hard work, and planning, but we are willing to work with the administration as much as needed. Through FFA, we have had the experience needed to plan and execute activities while working closely with the school administration to ensure everything goes smoothly. Looking to this next school year, we welcome any and all ideas to make this next year a truly innovative year on the part of the student body, and we hope to be the bridge connecting your voice to those who can help us make a difference. So vote for me, Max Harmon, and Dakota Parkhurst for your co-presidents of Student Council for the 2017-2018 Inman High School school year. That's it from us in the studio this week. Make sure to vote on Monday.